Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today some exciting news. The FDA has approved Silencia as an option for arthritis in the kitty cat. Cats, guys, over 10, any cat that's older is more prone to osteoarthritis or degenerative joint disease. That's why kitties don't always jump as well or play as much, because as they get older, guys, arthritis can riddle their joints. Here's the deal, guys. Unlike dogs where we can get anti-inflammatories and other meds that help out with their joints, cats do a very poor job of metabolizing NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Same thing like me and you would take if our joints are painful. That's why this is such big news. That's the medication Silencia, which is gonna be a once a month injection for kitty cats, and it's monoclonal antibody therapy. This is becoming a pretty common trend we're seeing. This monoclonal antibody therapy is gonna be blocking nerve growth factor. Nerve growth factor in the cutie cat does, it is a part of the pathway that affects the cat's pain and discomfort from degenerative joint disease, or as we're gonna call it, OA, or osteoarthritis. Logic is, guys, when the veterinarian gives this monoclonal antibody therapy, it's gonna block the nerve growth factor. And by doing that, we're gonna block the pathway for pain. Now this is totally a different thought process than before, but the FDA has approved it and it's gonna be hitting the market here really quick. It's actually already in the European Union, it's already in Canada, um, and our veterinary clinic here in Papillion, Nebraska is actually gonna be getting it as an early um, veterinary clinic and we're going to be using it and uh, telling them how it's going and kind of giving them feedback and how we are liking it or disliking it. And um, it's really exciting, guys. This is something that we've been waiting for a long time in the veterinary community because we know kitty cats are really prone to arthritic pain later in life and we wanna be able to make them feel better and we finally have the opportunity with this new injection. Now, things that I'm not super excited about is the fact that they give a cat an injection every month. That is gonna be stressful for the kitty cat. So, you know, we're gonna be giving these injections once a month, and it's gonna be something that we kind of think of kind of like a nail trim. We may have like a, either the doctor or, the, or a licensed technician go in and give the injection, and it's something that we're gonna be kind of setting up routinely based on how well things work. I'm sure some clients will want to push it off and do it later. Some will want to do it as frequently as possible, like once a month. But it really comes down to how well the kitty responds. I and mean, that's, that's going to be my thing. Like, you need to be observing your kitty's mobility and activity and see if Silencia is working for you because it is an exciting time with these options and make kitty cats more comfortable. Because, guys, cats are geriatric, what? eight, nine, 10 years of age, but cats are living to be 20 years sometimes. I've seen cats 25 years. And if we can make a kitty cat more comfortable over that decade of life, that is awesome. And now we have the opportunity and it's really gonna be fun to see what happens. If your cat has had one C injection already, please let me know what you think. So far the studies look pretty good. Three month studies show that there was significant um, uh, mobility and improvement while on the injection compared to the, compared to the placebo and most pet owners appear to um, really favor it and it appears to be working well the most common adverse effects that have been documented are some vomiting or injection site soreness or discomfort I will of course guys be following up with you guys about what I think about Silencia and my opinion over the next you know three to six months as always guys I try to be as transparent as possible on this channel the cool thing is, it's already gone through studies, the FDA has already approved it, so there's a really, really good chance it's going to be a great drug for our uncomfortable orthopedic kitty cats. As always guys, I'm Dan, I'm a veterinarian. Thanks so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. Please feel free to like and subscribe if my content has been helpful for you and your kitty cat. And I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and your kitty cats are too. You guys take care. Bye.